Hello everyone, my name is Raphael Walter and I'm going to be presenting to you a demonstration that fully implements uh, SAP Cloud Platform workflow and a few of uh, other services such like uh, process integration, portal with my inbox and the workflow monitor, open connectors, the document services and business rules. So the idea here is we're going to be showing to you uh, the integration between a Salesforce system and a S4 HANA system. So just to sum up, uh, this is going to be for a fake company and they have sales that are working in Salesforce and their main referential system is going to be the S4 HANA system. So basically uh, what they want to do is the following workflow. When a sales is going to uh, start his day, uh, he's going to be maybe creating an account creation. And this will initiate the start of the referential workflow. And this is will be done uh, inside of the workflow. First, we're going to verify that everything is OK for this account creation if all the information was uh, inserted by the sales. There is a missing information. And in this case, we will send an email to the sales telling him that uh, not everything was sent there. He re-enters it again, and this time everything is OK. So now what we'll do is we will uh, register, uh, verify the VAT registration number with the European Commission, Commission uh, VAT services. There is a web services. You can have perform SOAP uh, calls to this uh, web services. And this will give us back the name, the correct name of this, uh, of this uh, new account that uh, the sales wants to create and their address. In case of discrepancy between what the sales entered and the European Commission, we'll be using the data coming from the European Commission. And then once it's done, this is actually going to be the start of our workflow. So this, the workflow is going to start now. And first of all, there is going to be a financial validation. So the credit manager will have to maybe upload a few validity documents uh, and we'll be using for that the document services of the cloud platform, meaning that we're going to be able to upload in the SAP Cloud Platform uh, a few documents like uh, bank information. And also, we will have the credit manager uh, perform some kind of validation, approve or reject uh, this account creation. So then the next step is going to be uh, using business rules. So we do not want to be, our fake company does not want to be working with uh, NCCT uh, countries or territories, which is non-cooperative country or territory. So imagine in this case that the, the, the account the sales is trying to create, actually uh, this, this uh, company has a bank account in an ENT NCCT country. So basically this will trigger uh, uh, manager risk manager validation with the business rules. So I'll explain through it during the presentation, but the idea here is business rules uh, is a good way to give end users the power to uh, create their own business rules outside of the technical workflow. And uh, then they're able to edit them, uh, deploy them very easily. So since the creation uh, triggered this risk manager validation, we need to send an information to the audit team that is notified. And then the risk manager has to perform some kind of conformity check. And this is done through the portal with my inbox. And he will see a task that is going to be assigned to him. So imagine that the risk manager validates this. Then uh, what is going to be doing with uh, the next step of the workflow is to verify that this account doesn't already exist in the S4 HANA system, in the ERP. So basically, we have an automatic duplicate check looking for the name of the company the sales is trying to account, the country, and of course, the VAT uh, registration number. And this will give us a key. And uh, actually, uh, we, we will get in the workflow, uh, there will be already uh, such a, an account in the S4 HANA system. So, there will be a notification sent to the group referential and he will make the decision whether he wants to create a, a new account or is he going to be simply updating. So maybe in some cases we still want to have a human person making this decision. 
and uh, of course the group preferential will be notified of the result of the automatic duplicate checked but he will still be able to if he wants to create for some reason a new account he will be able to do so once this is done all the validation the documents we've done we've added a lot of things to this uh, to this sales account creation uh, we are going to update so first of all update inside of SAP uh, S4HANA and then we want also to update in back into Salesforce and for that we'll be using open connectors so basically this will serve as an interface between uh, SAP Cloud Platform and Salesforce and what's really good about the open connectors is you simply connect to your backend which is the Salesforce system and then you get a list of all the APIs that are available and you can try them out it's very easy and it's, uh, it's so much easier for a, a user to, to develop inside of open connectors and to try out APIs it's really really cool so this is this is the workflow that I'm going to be presenting to you now and as you can see, it's uh, quite complex with lots of tests and different uh, procedures. So I'm not going to go through the whole steps, but just with the first few steps that we are going to see here. So basically, with the start, uh, triggered by Salesforce uh, to a call, we'll be controlling the fields with uh, validate data. If there is any issue, we'll send an email. And then the request for validation from the European Union of the VAT registration number. So if we went into this, this is actually the, the integration flow that we'll be seeing, querying this European Commission uh, VAT uh, system. So if we go into uh, Salesforce and we trigger uh, the creation of this account, then uh, I'm going to save this. And what's going to happen is this is going to trigger this call and actually what's really nice is you can monitor the messages and you will see the full message here and you can actually go to any step of this uh, of this message and you can look at the log content you can see what happened and definitely you can also go to the message content and you see the actual answer coming so basically this validation uh, that registration number is valid and in the workflow, you saw that I, I send also an email, uh, mandator, um, not mandatory email, giving me the answer. And if we go into this, we'll see that uh, we received correctly the email telling us that this was true. This is just the next step is the financial validation. So financial validation is done with a user task interface. And it's really nice because, uh, as I, I told you, you can use components. And we'll see we have a component when we want to upload data, uh, upload a file. But in this case, I'm going to be using a form. And this is the financial validation form. And if we click on this, you can see the actual validation form uh, with uh, details, documents, verification, and uh, doc com um, comments. And if we go into uh, the inbox, this is the, the request that I've received. So basically here I see, I can put uh, the country, I can put maybe a number. And this is the comment uh, of the form that I just showed you. What's interesting is if you see that this is mandatory, if I click, then of course it's gonna say, please fill out the required field. So basically I need to say, so financial validation, okay. And now I can approve. So once we're going to do this, so we go back into the workflow and we'll see that it goes on and we have the NTCC uh, confirmation cooperative. Then we have the, uh, the email to the credit manager and we validate. So if we wanted to go into the business rules, this is where the NTCC uh, validation is done. Basically, the end user, as I said in the introduction, is going to be able to, credit, uh, to create these rules. So if the country code of the measure, measure is equal to mm -mm -mm, then I want the rule to be set the is an, an NTCC, NCCT, sorry, to true. And this is really efficient. They can just edit, deploy, and they can maintain this outside of the actual um, of the actual workflow so then if we go back into our inbox it's going on so now 
we have the duplicate chat that is done, we have the rack conformity. And uh, so if we go here, you, you see that um, there was a, it was found in the system, the update auto check. So basically it's telling me that I should not do a create, I should do a update. So basically a duplicate was found. So this is the manual and I could check into the S4 system, same account or account already exists. Okay, updating. So basically I want to update this and then we have the rack conformity. And what's really good is I want to say, okay, we're frag. And then I'm gonna be uploading uh, a, a file. So conformity with frag. So I'm gonna choose a file and then you can actually upload the file and then uh, this will enable us to save also in the workflow. So going back into the inbox, So I'm going to approve this and now the last step is finished. If we go into the, the Fury, uh, the portal, uh, we see that I've also added the monitor workflow. So now if we go into the workflow instances, um, you can see all the different instances and you see that all the different steps of the workflow are here actually. And this is really efficient and we updated the data so from CPI this is another integration flow so we have the sender then we create two message one for Salesforce one for the S4 ANA system with uh, OData and here we're going to be using open connectors and if we want to go into open connectors you'll see that uh, we have a success of the account here and also in the same way, we can also see the message that was sent and we see that everything went okay. So this is, uh, this is uh, open connectors and it's also a very, very efficient way to, to test uh, your system. So basically you have the API doc, you just connect to your system from open connectors and then you see the, all the APIs available. So what I've done is account patch and then you can see you can even try it out. So saves a lot of time to work with this and you just put in your um, XML or your, your JSON sorry and then you execute this and you'll see the result so lots of stuff that we've seen here and the last step is if we go back into Salesforce this was the information that I had as you can see there's not a lot of information here and we're just gonna update this And we'll see in the details that everything was uploaded. So basically now we have the maybe the ID coming from the S4 system. This is the comment that I put. Uh, we've got more information, how it was updated. It came from SAP. Uh, then we have uh, a status, workflow completed successfully. And for example, how description, you remember I had another description. Now it says SAP workflow update. And if we go into our emails, we'll see and update this. We'll see that uh, there was the RAG validation, an email was sent, and then we have uh, uh, the referential was done, the account ID, VAT number, country code, and this is what the sales would be getting at the end of the whole workflow. So this workflow was uh, the integration workflow between uh, a Salesforce system and an S4 HANA system for the account creation or update inside of the S4 HANA system. And uh, this was to give you a glimpse of the, the many capabilities of the SAP Cloud platform and all its services, the workflow integration part, business rules, document repository, and the SAP Fury, uh, my inbox, the portal services, and also the SAP Cloud platform, open connectors to enable all the interactions between my uh, S4 HANA system and the Salesforce system. So I didn't go fully in depth, but you, s you saw what you were able to do and uh, you saw that you were able to use all those different services to combine them inside of this uh, complex workflow. And it gives you a good idea of wh what possibilities you could have with the SAP Cloud platform. In any case, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. 
and uh, well, see you soon. Take care. Cheers.